A video and a set of stills making the rounds Wednesday was further evidence, if that were needed, of the caliber of weapons out in the community and in the hands primarily of young men. In what seemed like a display of military-grade firepower, an assembly of young men show off their arsenal. One senior police officer speaking on condition of anonymity told News Force that the material on show is chilling for the damage it can cause. The Minister for National Security, Herman Gil Francis, says it speaks to what the men and women of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force are up against. It just indicates how, how dangerous the situation is and how many firearms that we seem to still have on island. And it's for us to now put a make a concerted effort to start going through these areas and, and making sure that we get rid of um, those firearms. Senator Francis says the video and stills have been brought to the attention of the High Command of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. But I've also forwarded it to the Commissioner of Police and the Deputy, and I know for a fact that they actively, they're actively investigating the, um, this matter. Not for the first time, emboldened young men have put on display the weapons in their possession. In 2020, the police had some success in the effort to confiscate illegal firearms and to prosecute those caught in possession of these lethal weapons. The challenge for law enforcement is to stem the flow of these powerful weapons into St. Lucia, with barrels from North America and the island's porous borders believed to be the entry points for this illicit and deadly cargo. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.